What is up, people? Half Slab Bacon back with another episode of our 1.9, 1.10 survival tutorial. So this uh, video is going up a little late today. I know, I know. It's because I've been busy. I've been a busy beaver, people, as I'm sure you can tell by the thing behind me. So what have I been up to? Well, you might be able to tell by the title on uh, nether work. Lots and lots of nether work. Getting ready for our guardian farm. So I've been using our lovely auto smelter here that uh, does all the stuff and things for me while I'm busy doing other things. We'll take four. Yeah, four. Four will be a good start. And oh, we're going to want some ender pearls too. So we're going to grab those and. I don't want to spend too much time on the nether rail, guys, because we've kind of... Oop. Hang on. We got to do it this way. Got to do it that way so we get the looting. Come here, pal. Looting three. Yes. Did we get anything? Drop down here or up there? Yeah. I've been using the looting three when I've been hitting those guys, and I've been getting, that's gonna be difficult to get to, insane amounts of gas tears off them, guys. Whoop, let's uh, let's put that back before we accidentally shoot a pigman. And let's get a cheaty way up here. There we go. That'll do us. There we go. Give me the gas tears. What we see? Three off one guy. I got four off one of them once. It's freaking great. I love it. I love it. I love it. Those regen potions, man. We're gonna be fighting a lot of withers. Gonna do one pretty hardcore wither battle where we're not doing any cheaty easy stuff. So that's gonna come in handy. Um, yeah, let's go put these away before we get going, guys and I'll show you the progress I've made. As I was saying, I don't want to spend too much time on uh, the rail because we already kind of did an episode about that, but for the new people that maybe haven't seen that one because they haven't gone back and watched the older videos, which you should by the way, um, I want to cover it a bit guys. So I've expanded this and I'll take you all the way down because we are going to go to the ocean monument. I had to kill, I had uh, triple blaze spawner, like all, th all three blaze spawners within range of each other. I was, where is he? Uh, as long as he's not up in our face. I was hoping to save and make use of someday. But I found out after I had built most of the rail that um, I had inadvertently gone right through it, which sucks. So I broke those. Truth be told, it's not the end of the world, because um, in all honesty, we're not, once we get our Enderman farm going, we're really not going to use it that much. Like... Once my, my ender ender is up and running, guys, the... Oop, we forgot some other important stuff. The blaze farm will basically just get used for blaze rods. That'll kind of be it. Because, you know, just the enderman farms are, are so much more efficient. Like, retardedly more efficient. So, and it's closer to spawn. So we'll basically be using that the whole time for our XP. So what I did guys um, to kind of change this up is I changed the orientation of this one so it's now pointing that way and I've put an activator rail here. Do I have a minecart on me? No I do not. Let's go grab a minecart just so I can show you. I'm sure some of you have seen this but you know we got to cover the things. Got to cover the things. It's a tutorial. So let's grab one of our, our mine carts here and eat our chickens. And then we'll go over optimal placement for the powered rails and then we'll get over to the ocean monument 
so we can continue clearing that out and actually getting ready to use all this sand. So with the orientation there, what this does now is when we send a mine cart this way, it's going to switch that rail when it goes over the activator rail. You could see it there. Yeah, that's the thing. That is our thing. So now when we send villagers from the village area, it'll switch and it'll come this way, which I want because most likely if we're ever getting the villagers, we're going to want them to go this way. However, because the default orientation goes in the other direction, now when we leave from the jungle, it'll go this way, or when we come this way from the other area, it'll go towards the jungle. So we've got... Oops. Didn't want that to break. We've got that done now. And I've put the stop here and our staircase up to the blaze farm. And started running some of the rails, guys. Now, like I said, I covered this before, so I don't want to spend forever on it. But we want to show the new guys. So optimal placement, guys, for a full uh, minecart with chest. Ooh, we can get that back. Sweet. Or a cart with a passenger in it. Why doesn't that look powered? Is it just me? Oh, no, it's powered. It's just me. I'm being silly. Is uh, every 30 second blocks. So what I've done is I've run 32 blocks. Now here... We're going to break this block here when we're running sand, but what I want here is I want to stop here so that we can stop at the blaze farm, and then if we want to continue from there, then we'll continue from there on the other side. So I can kind of have a minecart on either end, and we're good to go, and I want our glowstone, give me that back, up in here. So we got our light there. So that's kind of the thing there. Then we can take our lovely minecart all the way up here, and then we can take a separate minecart all the way down. But when we start hauling the sand, all I'm gonna do is break this block and put another rail there. So it still gets the powered boost and that kind of thing. Now, I usually like with stop starts to have kind of two powered rails there, just because it helps get you up to speed a little bit faster and helps the minecart go a little bit more efficiently. But usually in sections like this, one is kind of enough. Um, the first one after a stop start, I'll put two, sometimes three, depending on, you know, if it's coming out of a turn or that kind of thing. But for the most part, one's good. So we'll put our glowstone continue the pattern where we've just kind of got the, the light where the glowstone is. Or the light where the glowstone is. The light where our powered rail is. And that's that. I've gone around and gotten, well, I've gotten the whole track run in terms of the concrete, but I'm still working on the glass, guys. It's so much work. And actually, we forgot to do our dye. So I still have some gray dye left over. So I've just been grabbing up on that. And just using that up and I brought some, uh, what do you call it? Some squid ink down. We've already got tons of bone meal down here. So I brought some squid ink down for when I run out of the gray dye that we still had and all that's left over from doing um, our mega farm, the biggie biggie farm farm. And I haven't worried about, oh, are we out of inventory space? Here, we can get rid of the netherrack. Um, I haven't worried about glassing in the whole area, guys. That is really annoying. Here, hold a minecart. But what I have been doing is the areas where we're exposed and we might get gas, 
I've been making sure it's filled in. And then while I'm waiting for the sand to smelt and build up, the bulk of the rest of the area I've just been placing on the bottom row here just to prevent gas from spawning up inside our track. You know, basically, I want to get this pretty, yes. Like, we're going to knock these back and do the whole fire thing like I did down by the village and that kind of thing. But I want to get the rail up and running, guys. That's priority number one, is to get that rail up and running as quickly as possible so we can start transporting our sand because we really, really, really do need... um the what am i looking for redstone we really 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 do need that guardian farm up and running so that we can get our enderman farm up and running top priority top priority and you know it, it it's good that we're getting this done anyways in all honesty because now we're gonna have a connection Ooh. I don't want to block that redstone in down there. Just so I don't have things shooting at it. So let's go. Hi, guy. Yeah, here's where I had to break the spawners. <laughs> it was, well, oh, maybe farther up. Yeah, there was one like right there and two more directly after it. So kind of sucks. Makes me cry inside a little, but, you know, what am I supposed to do? It's a thing. I wasn't going to, like, stop doing this, you know, not and start over and change the whole orientation. There was no way that was freaking happening. Like, no way. Just too much work, you know? Too, too much work. We don't need that third block. We just need that one. And wait a minute. Am I losing my marbles here? I am losing my marbles here. We do need that third block. There we go. Silly bacon. Tricks are for rabbits. That's how it goes. So yeah, let's get this rail back there. Now this is safe. We can get our glowstone back. Do up top. Get our powered rail here. So I'll probably finish like as much of this as possible off camera, guys. But I did want to cover it, you know, at least briefly. Like, see, we got problems with areas like this where I'm not going to run that track. Well, I'm going to run that track, but I'm not going to run that track with gas shooting at us. <laughs> it's just bad form. So, I've been trying to get the glass built up. See, here's where you can see one of the Blaze um, farms and there was, or Blaze spawners, and there was another one. I think the other two were right over there, or one of the, another one of them was right over there or something. Anyways, I was really kind of hoping to save that just as a, a fun project for us, but there was no way, guys. There was just no freaking no way I was going to move this whole rail because I had so much of it built already and, you know, hours and hours and hours of work went into it. Like, that's why freaking this video is going up late, guys, because it takes a lot of work. So what I do is just to kind of count this out as I grab a stack of 31 because I said every 32 blocks, right? So that means 31 in between. And um, I guess that's what I get for having a minecart in the... Oh, whoa, there goes that minecart. Oh, that kind of sucks a little, just a little. Okay, this offhand stuff can be dangerous sometimes, you know what I mean? So I've been going like this and just running till the stack's gone and trying not to get too far out from where I'm ga gassed in so I don't have gas blowing up our super expensive rails, you know, and 
just going like so to mark that spot like we have in the rest of them and then switching back to my glass to fill it in it's really quiet over here actually quieter than I would have expected like I said the areas where we're going through something I'm not as stupid shield I'm not as worried about it because we're not gonna have gas oops that piece of glass gone forever okay I can do this stuff really I can I do it off camera just fine but when I try and go fast and talk at the same time I mess it up there obviously in these areas it's priority to get the the glass up so the gas isn't shooting our stuff because now we finally hear one and that's kind of what I was waiting for there we go now we can get another chunk done you guys are not going to believe how long of a run this is actually it's it's kind of insane that's why I wasn't you know I couldn't save the blaze spawners I really wanted to save the blaze spawners for us but I just I couldn't guys okay so that's floor so we're good like so let's get our glowstone in did we get it back ah who cares it's just a piece of stone so like I said I'll probably grind away on most of this off camera um, let's switch back to our glass here and try and get this run done at least even the pigmen I'm not overly concerned about initially guys not until we start doing minecraft minecart runs all the time but you know obviously I don't want too many of them in here because they're a pain in the butt to work around However, in the same sense, this is a lot of glass that we're going through. A lot of glass we're going through. So that's the next big opening, at least. So we're good there. We can do that. Switch back to our redstone. Because the sooner we get this done, the better off we are. And then I get to grind away on the joys of mining sand. Yay! Doesn't it sound so exciting? It's a thing, people. So yeah, not too exciting. But, you know, what do you do? It's necessary. It's a necessary evil in Minecraft to do all this amazeballs exciting stuff. So here's our next section and I think I'm probably gonna stop here just so you guys don't have to watch this because it's boring as snot and we will kind of continue on our way. See what I mean? Problem with pigmen. Then they're in your way and it's super annoying. So all I did was I ran it straight out here, guys. You can see, um, this is kind of dangerous, but you can see right below us, there is our end portal to go down to the end. And over here, I ran it all the way and stepped it down right into this portal. So this section is probably going to change once we've got the ocean monument set up but for now it works you know like i said the our actual spawn location is going to change too right because we're going to end up moving that when we complete our underground layer oh we picked something up what we pick up oh well doesn't matter so what i kind of wanted to cover guys here we'll throw Oh, you know what? I'm wearing the wrong gear for this. I'm still wearing my fire protection gear, which kind of sucks, but we'll make do. I really wanted to show you guys kind of the process I go through 
in terms of dealing with these guardians and the sponges. Do I even have fuel down here? I've got some. Okay, so we're not in bad shape. So basically, and I got a good chunk of this done, but I ran out of ender pearls and you do want ender pearls on you when you're doing this. Did I leave the ladders too? That could be a problem. We want ladders. You want ladders to get back up. Where's my, did I use all the ladders? Oh, okay. We gotta make more ladders, guys. Um, sure, odd number, what the heck. There. Let's get a bunch of ladders. So we're good in the ladder department. And actually, we're gonna want more than that. Six really isn't that many. There. That's better. Now we got a decent amount of ladders. We'll leave our spare stick. So this part's long and tedious. Oh, I should have brought my uh, silk touch. Actually, what I need here is an ender chest. So we can really start going through all this and clearing it all out. But you're going to want ender pearls. You're going to want ladders. You're going to want torches. And some reasonably decent um, gear, which you know, all fire protection is, and I forgot my shield. What is with me today? Yesterday's video was too much coffee. Today's video is not enough coffee, I think, guys. Where'd I put my shield? Give me the shield back. There we go. At least I have some protection other than fire, because fire is pretty much useless doing this. Guardian's gonna shoot me, I'm gonna take mad damage. So, I've got that closed off because we've got water behind it. I can't remember if I got kind of all the other spots up in here, or... No, I'm not done working over here. That's it. That's right. And I'm going to get my butt pwned by these guys, big time. So maybe we'll go back to where I had that cobble. I th think we can start... Yeah, we can start to deal here. This is the big room. So, yeah, you just kind of, you know, you got to aim for your source blocks. Ouch. Yeah, this is going to hurt without my good armor. And try not to waste the blocks by doing that. <laughs> it actually looks like we got more up top here that we got to deal with. So, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to have to pause, guys, and go back to get the right armor for this. So, yeah, give me, give me a couple minutes. And through the magic of cinema, we're back in the big room with all our stuff. So now we can just kind of start swimming around now that we have gear that can actually, you know, handle these guys. And just to kind of start draining the room out a bit let's get a sponge up in here and one up in here dude would you guys stop with the hitting me with the stuff and things you're jerks nobody likes you there we go now we can actually see some progress right oh I got it in the wrong spot And you, you do got to watch your oxygen level, by the way. <laughs> that's kind of really important. Doing these big rooms sucks. And that's why I made sure I had a whole whack of food. So that we can really make some progress here. Okay, you guys are about to get beat. Seriously. There we go. That's another one. That's another one. The nice thing is, once we get these in place, these guys are easy to fight. Okay, we need to eat. Would you guys stop with the shooting me? Oh, so annoying. 
There we go. And you really do want to keep an eye on your health while you're doing this, guys. And every once in a while, take a break. Go back to recharge a little. It's, it's time consuming. There's really not much you can do about it. The good thing is, once you get a little bit cleared, you can kind of see a little bit better and see what those guys are up to. And that gives you an opportunity to maybe shoot some too if they get close enough. But you can definitely see why, like I said, you need uh, <laughs> you need your good gear on. There we go. Another one down. Another one down. And you, like, unfortunately, there's no easier way of doing this because you have to work from top to bottom, right? You guys are all going to get punched in the face as soon as I'm done clearing the water. I'm serious. You're going to get it right in the face. Right in the face, guys. You think you got something on me. You ain't got nothing on me. Now, that one, I'm not... Yeah, we were able to get it. I wasn't too sure how that was going to work out in our favor. Okay, we got one higher level straggler up in here. Isn't this fun, guys? There we go. Oh, time to eat again. Get out of line of sight and eat. And this is why, guys, I say make sure you have some ender pearls with you. Just in case. You know, because these guys are freaking annoying. And you might get into trouble. And if you get into trouble, you're going to want those ender pearls with you just to get out quick. Especially because, you know, you got to break these too, which takes forever. Ugh, dude, you guys are going to get wrecked. Okay, you're gonna get wrecked. So, when I can, I like to try and... Let's just go over here and do it. Ugh. I like to try and use my blocks to pillar out a little bit to gather my sponges, because it makes doing that easier. Because then we can just kind of, you know, like so. There we go. I know it's not terribly exciting, guys, but I figured I would definitely show you the process for this because it's a big job. It's a tricky job. It's a pain in the butt job is what it is. Ha ha. Broke your line of sight. Suck it, dude. What are you going to do now? Oh, I see ya. I see ya. Hey, I got a present for ya. Suck it. Ha ha. Thought he had something on me. He ain't got nothing on me. The good thing is, while we're doing this and killing all these guys' faces, we're also getting the stuff we need to uh, do our ender portal. Like, there's a lot of blocks just inside this monument alone. So that's those will come in hugely handy when the time comes. Dude, I'm trying to get sponges. Why are you bothering me? Quit picking on me, you jerks. Why? Come back here. I got a present for you. Suck it. You too. Time to eat. Oh, you were getting wrecked, son. You were getting wrecked. Uh, he's too far. Okay, well, we'll take these blocks back. Huh? I see ya. I see ya. The downside is... As we do this, <laughs> they get, like more and more of them because they have less spawn space so it really kind of does work out to be a bit of a pain in the pooper but there's not much we can do about it right so 
Now that we at least got some sponges back, a decent amount, then I like to run back here, guys. Head up. Get them drying out. Let's actually put a light here. And I think we're far enough down now. What we're going to do is we're going to bring our ovens down with us. Boom. So we don't have to go as far to dry out our blocks. And rinse and repeat and all that fun stuff. That's kind of the process. So let's get our furnace eye. Ooh, I really don't have a lot of coal on me, do I? Did I leave some upstairs? I'm sure I left some upstairs. Okay, so we'll split it like this. We'll get some in there. We'll get those going. We'll get those going. What I will do eventually, guys, is just bring a bunch of blaze rods up in here. I see your face. And I'm gonna... I can't wreck you. Haha. <laughs> Suck it. Line of sight. There we go. Give me some more sponges size. Whoa! Stop it, dude! Jeez, these guys are so annoying. So as you can tell, this is gonna take a lot of time and a lot of patience, and there's not much I could do to speed the process up. Cause Battling these jerk faces while we're doing this is just kind of a reality. Jerk face! Suck it, jerk face! Like I said, though, the good thing is, once you actually get a room cleared, like down to the ground, they have very little recourse because they kind of suck at handling dry land. They suck a lot at it. So, yeah. This is going to be my fun process for probably the next few weeks off camera. While you guys get to enjoy YouTube videos, I get to do this. Yay. Exciting, isn't it? Would you guys stop? Okay. I think uh, <laughs> that's probably enough for today guys um well that would have made a wicked screenshot <laughs> too bad i have my thing on there and i hate having my thing on my screenshots but yeah i figured I'd, i would show you guys the process and what i was doing in the nether and just kind of keep you guys up on the things so if you enjoyed the video hit that like button as always, to show your support for the channel and help others like you that might enjoy these videos, find the videos. And, as always, if you haven't subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button for more daily videos. Once again, thanks for watching. Bye.